what's up Kara Ray here and welcome back to my channel so in my last video I did an unboxing of my Senrev mini maestro bag and I told you guys I wanted to carry it for a little while before I gave you guys a full review and as promised that's what I'm here doing for you guys today so if you're interested to see a review on my Senrev mini maestro bag as well as what fits inside it and a small comparison to one of my other favorite work bags then make sure you guys keep on watching i'm just gonna jump right into this video like i mentioned i did an unboxing about a month ago of this exact bag so if you guys are interested to see some detailed specs on the bag how it comes and all that good stuff then make sure you guys click on my description box down below i will have the link to that video in the description box as well as up here in the corner i don't know if it's over here or over here but it'll be up here somewhere for you guys to take a look if you're interested to see that so I'm going to start with what's in my bag first and then I will get to the review in the second half of the video. So this has been my work bag for the past month and a half I'll say. I want to show you guys exactly what I have in it. I haven't cleaned it out for a while so this is going to be a genuine what's in my bag. Now mind you this is my work bag so my work bag usually stays pretty clean. This is what it looks like um, inside but I'm just going to grab from inside here and just pull out everything that's in here this bag is um, pretty stuffed I'll say with things so yeah let's start with my wallet this is my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet this is my favorite mini size wallet it fits in all my small bags so I decided to use that in my mini maestro um, and then in that back pocket I also have a receipt I have a wall adapter for my phone I also have some Listerine cool mint um, breath strips in that back pocket and I'm talking about the back pocket in the very back I also have my airpods in my airpod case and then I also keep a hand sanitizer in that back pocket so that back pocket really I think is supposed to be for like a small like iPad a mini iPad or something like that but my iPad does not fit in that pocket, so I decided to utilize it as like a catch-all for some of my smaller pieces that go inside of my bag, which I felt really worked well for that. Um, I also am able to fit my iPad in my mini maestro bag, so that fits inside there quite nicely. I also have my glasses, my eyeglasses. I need to keep those in my bag as well. I have my phone, which is an iPhone 6 that fit inside of my bag. Uh, I have some prescription ibuprofen. I recently had my teeth pulled and this stuff has literally saved my life because that was no joke. The recovery time for that was no joke and honestly that's why this video is going up as late as it is because my face, I looks like a blowfish, honestly guys. Um, and then like my catch-all for like my makeup, I have eye drops in here, chapstick, hand cream, tweezers, all that good stuff. I use the Louis Vuitton, um, I think this is the PM cosmetic case, I'm not exactly sure the exact name for it, but I'll link this and my wallet and some of the other things that are in my bag down below if you guys are interested in picking up any of those items. And yeah, that's it. My bag is now clean. In this front zip pocket, I keep um, like Advil. I also keep like feminine products in there. It's just a nice place to keep your products concealed and like out of the way. So that's what I use that front pocket for. Oh, and then in this back pocket right here, I do keep my work badge. It's like the perfect place for my work badge. As you can see, this bag fit quite a lot. All my essentials are able to fit into my mini maestro bag and come with me to work every single day. Now I'm going to just do a quick review of the bag, the things that I like as far as the things that I don't like about the bag because I do have some cons to this bag. Um, I just want to share them with you guys so you guys get the full picture when you purchase this bag. So we're going to start with my pros because why not? I'd say the versatility of the strap is my main pro because you can wear it the way you want to wear it. Some days you might feel like wearing it as a backpack, other days you might feel like wearing it as a crossbody, maybe other days you feel like carrying it as a top handle. It's really versatile in as far as style and function goes. I'd say my second pro to this bag is it fits a lot. I kid you not, I literally just transferred. So my work bag before my mini maestro bag was the Louis Vuitton GM Neverfull. 
So I literally transferred everything that was in this bag into this bag and everything fit. I mean, other than like the wristlet, I had to downsize on my cosmetic case, um, things like that. But all of my essentials were able to fit into this bag, which is a very compact size. I think that was amazing because I honestly wasn't expecting everything that I needed to fit in this bag. Um, I feel like the colors, there's so many color options for this bag. So if you're not a gray kind of girl, maybe you want black, maybe you want pink, purple, orange, you name it, they have it. They have so many colors in this bag. And I also think that the sizing of this bag, while I have the mini, it does come in two other sizes, the midi and then the regular, which is the largest size. I do really, really think that that's a really good selling point for these bags is you can get the bag based on what you need it for. So if you need a bigger bag, you can get one in this style. I do really love the style. I got so many compliments on this bag while carrying it. As far as my cons go, I don't really have many cons. I think some of my cons are really petty and really if you think about it they aren't cons but i'm going to mention them anyway just because it might be something you guys would want to know before purchasing so i'm just going to go ahead and mention them i will say i'm a little bit biased because my louis vuitton never full like i mentioned was my bag before this one and the thing that i really miss is the space this is really compact and i feel like it does do a really good job of fitting everything that you need in a small space but I do really miss the room. So maybe I would find the midi size of this bag or even the large size of this bag a little bit more functionable um, because there'd be more room. I felt like I was restricted because I was. I have a lot of things that I put in here and I don't really have much room once it's completely full to kind of like maneuver things. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. If you're getting the mini size, it is mini. There's not much room. Um, just, just, to, just to put that in the air, I guess. But it's not really a con, like I mentioned. Um, sometimes the closure would be a con, I guess. If you're really looking for that fast in and out type of bag, this may not be the bag for you. I feel like it did, does take me a little bit of time to like maneuver it closed. Um, it's not an easy like one hand, like I mean I can do it with one hand, but if you have other things in your hand because this bag is so small, you can't fit a lot of things in here. So if you're like trying to hold other things while trying to close it, you may struggle a little bit. Again, not a con like as far as like the design goes, but just something I wanted to mention so you guys get a bigger picture of what it's like carrying this bag. Um, you can't just reach into it. You kind of have to like pull up the strap, then you gotta pull the flap back and then you can reach into it. But like I said, it's not really a con if you are aware of it before you purchase the bag. I also didn't use my zipper much just because that's just another thing to deal with when trying to get in and out of the bag quickly. So I found myself just leaving it unzipped for the most part because that made it a little bit easier for me to just be able to unbutton the front closure and then open it up and get inside of it. So I left it unzipped. So I mean, again, that might just be me. Um, coming from like a never full where it's like a tote style bag that I'm used to just being able to reach in and out and grab things. I could be biased, okay? I could be biased, but once again, I just wanna bring these things to your attention so you're aware. I'd say all in all, this bag is a great bag. I really like it and I do recommend it to people who are looking for a work bag. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to my review slash what's in my bag of my mini maestro bag. Thank you so much, Senra, for sending me this bag to review for my um, viewers. I really do appreciate it. If you guys have any questions for me about the bag, leave them in the comment section down below. I will try to answer everything to the best of my ability as always. If you liked my review slash my what's in my bag work bag edition video, then make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this from me. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.